Welcome, I'm Tara with Higher Calling Ministries, where we are ascending people to advance the kingdom of God. What an honor it is to be before you, um, letting you know that we never take our online audience for granted. We are so blessed by you. We thank you for sharing this message um, with those around the virtual community, um, and we want you to be blessed. We pray for you, and we believe that you are blessed by the Lord um, through this ministry. If you are looking for more information about Higher Calling, check us out at hcmgoesboro.org, Instagram, and of course, right here on Facebook. Know that we love you. Know that the glory of the Lord is, is prevailing in your life and it is working for your good. Many blessings to you and enjoy today's service.
birthday. Uh -huh. We celebrate our birthday. Yeah. We go all out. We celebrate all month long sometimes. All week long. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hallelujah. But a birthday celebration, hallelujah, is supposed to be a celebration of life. Alright. Why are we really celebrating? Uh -huh. Celebrating life. Celebrating that God blessed us to see another year. Yeah. Another milestone. Another decade. party or gathering. All right. A birthday. I'm talking about y'all already know what the deal is. Uh -huh. It's time for my birthday. Come on, go ahead. Let's get it together. So it becomes a ritual. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. But when we celebrate our birthday, we should be really celebrating how God kept us from the hand of death. All right. How All right. he kept death from us. Mm -hmm. How God kept you from that accident that could have killed you. How he healed your body from that sickness or disease that could have taken you out. Uh -huh. The gift of life. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I can say to you today that there are many celebrated birthdays and don't even know Christ. Lord Jesus. I'm celebrating my life, but I'm not living. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the next time you celebrate your birthday, I want you to think about that. Yes. Celebrating our birthday and don't even know Christ. How can we celebrate life without Christ? Amen. Christ is life. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yes. And what is life without Christ? Uh -huh. And I'm sure many of us can remember how it was. Our life without Christ. Uh -huh. What it yes. looked like. What we felt like. Hallelujah. But the Bible lets us know that life without Christ is death. Uh -huh. It's darkness. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. But Christ, because Christ is life. He is light. Uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Void. Your life is void. Hopeless. And I know some of you here today are probably thinking, you know, well, that can't be me because I'm saved. I ain't, I ain't in darkness. I'm saved. Uh -huh. I, I've been saved. 20, 30 years. Jesus. Thank God I'm not living it. Thank God I'm not in darkness. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You may be saved, but the real question is, are you living? Oh. Oh. Are you living? Come on. Hallelujah. See, many of us in the body of Christ, we walk around like we are doing God a favor because we've been saved for 20 years. Yeah. Because we have a ministry. Because we have this and that. Walking around stuck up, dry, religious. Did not apostle be, apostles been preaching about religion. Walking around religious, religious mindsets. Hallelujah. As if God owes us something. I walk into the house of God and I sit in my seat as if God owes me something. I'm waiting on God to come through for me. I'm waiting on his prayer. Well, what are we doing for him? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. What can you do for him? That's what he said today. What can you do for me? What will you do for me? Not what can you do for me? Because many of us, we know we can. But the question is, will you do it for him? Will you make the decision to do it for him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, you didn't make me. God said, you didn't make me. I made you. Oh, it's time to act accordingly. Right? Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. So don't get it twisted. He formed you from the dust of the earth. Yes, he did. Think about the dirt we walk on. The dust. Even dust, you can rub your hand across it and it just, it just dissolves. Mm -hmm. The dust of the earth. We were nothing. We were filthy rags. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, and I wanted to bring one with me today for demonstration. But can we just imagine a filthy rag? What do we use a rag for? Something spill on the floor. Go in and get that rag. Something, something. In, the, uh, in, in the car, because in the car, you know, you have your, your, your um, containers with your, your cleaning rags and stuff like that. You know, we'll go out there and get that rag. You know, go out there and get the, that thing that's dirty. That thing that has no value. That was our life before Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. New life begins.
begins with salvation. Mm -hmm. New life. If you want to live, get to know God. Repent. Uh -huh. Get saved. For real. Jesus. That's where new life begins. Mm -hmm. yeah. You tired of your old life? You tired of experiencing the same things over and over? You tired of the cycles? Have you tried God? Uh -huh. And not only have you tried them, but have you stuck with them long enough? Uh -huh. I'm not talking about just trying them and quitting. You know how we do. We try different things. It gets boring to us. We get tired. We're well, about to try something else. And we get caught up in a whole bunch of mess. Because we don't allow God to do the process in our lives that he needs to do. To get us where we need to be. Hallelujah. See, I don't think many of us understand. Hallelujah. The meaning of salvation. We think it's just being saved, confessing, God, I, I welcome you into my heart. I repent of my sin. You know, the prayer of confession. But do you really know what salvation means? Mm -hmm. That's good. Hallelujah. New life begins with salvation, but continues. New life continues. New life continues by living a righteous and holy lifestyle. Hallelujah. So new life begins with salvation, uh -huh. but you have to continue you in that continue. by living a righteous life, uh -huh. a holy life yes. before God. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we take it too lightly that God saved us. Mm -hmm. And even as I begin writing out what God gave me, I just begin to weep because I've, I've been guilty and I had to repent. Because we take that for granted, that he saved us. Many of us only look at it in the natural, where we just confess, like I just stated a few minutes ago, how we stood there and repented at the altar and recited the sinner's prayer. Hallelujah. But listen, God saved us. Serving, maybe serving God. Coming in here, Help you know, us. every Sunday. Help. 
You know, I'm sure that makes me safe. Mm. You know, I'm in the building. Come on. I'm present. Come on. When the roll is called, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. You're making a point. Hallelujah. By grace, we are saved. Mm -hmm. Meaning there's nothing we could have done. Nothing. Nothing, nothing we could do. Nothing we could ever do. Hallelujah. To earn his mercy and grace. Goodness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. His grace is God, God's kindness. His grace is generosity. His undeserved favor and spiritual blessings. Undeserved. We don't deserve it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He took all of our debt. And he received us despite our sinful history and our sinful nature and our sinful minds and our sinful hearts. He still, hallelujah, showed his grace and his mercy. Yes, he did. Mm. Hallelujah. And see, some of us can't rejoice with victory and in victory because we are still entangled with what Christ came to set us free from. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mercy. See, that's how we can go to church and sit down on God. Remember, Christ is life, living, showing signs of breathing, giving him what, giving him his honor, what he is due. And see, that's why many can go to church and not be changed. That's right. Come on now. That's how we can preach the gospel and still live in sin and live a lie. Jesus. Get behind the mic and preach the gospel and get people saved and still die and go to hell. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, glory. That's why we can confess life and still walk in darkness. Mm -hmm. See, we think living is just because we are breathing. Mm -hmm. Just because we open our eyes in the morning that we are living. Hallelujah. That's how we can love our friends and hate our enemies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And that's how we can live a lukewarm life without no conviction. Jesus. When we realize the, the price that Christ paid for us, when we realize what he took on for us, you all, what he battled for us, what he endured for us, what he sacrificed for us, we would reverence him every chance we get. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. I, we don't have to wait to be initiated. We don't have to wait to be primed and pumped. We don't have to wait for someone to grab the mic and say, stand up, come on and praise the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Because we know the price that he paid for us. And I'm going to enter into his gate with thanksgiving and enter his court with praise because I know that God saved me. And I don't take that lightly. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When we realize, we will, when we realize that we will reverence him every chance we get and we stop complaining. Mm -hmm. Complaining about everything. Right. Complaining about everything that's going wrong. Right. Complaining about what's going on at the job. Right. Complaining about what's going on at church. Complaining about what's going on in your home. Who are we glorifying? Uh -huh. When you look back over your, your words, your life, your day-to-day -day actions, who does it glorify? Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When we really grasp hold to what salvation really means and what Christ endured for us, It'll make us change. It'll make us want to change. It'll make us want to give up some things. It'll make us want to become more like Christ. Hallelujah. See, we can't just get stuck on preaching to the believers so much that we forget about saving the unbelievers. See, many have confused uh, what the church should really look like. But in Luke 5 and 
22, Jesus said, I came to not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So he didn't just come to help us that were saved. He come to, came to get the unsaved saved. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. So we have to stop looking for churches that have it all together. Uh -huh. Jesus. Hallelujah. We have to stop calling ourselves the body and always criticizing the church. Hallelujah. I told one of my sisters some months ago, I said, I am a solutionist. Bring me a problem. Let's figure out a solution. Bring me an issue. Let's figure out a solution. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. God has called me to build, called me to establish, called me to bridge gaps. Hallelujah. And for some of you the same, he's called us to be a help to a body, help to the body, a help to the church. Yes. Hallelujah. A church that the world is attacking. Mm -hmm. But we don't give the world a chance to come against us. As the body, because we are attacking ourselves. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. An attack on the head is an attack on the hand. And an attack on the hand is an attack on the foot. Because uh -huh. we are one body. Yes, that's right. Is that not what the word said? We are one body. So, what one part of the body is attacked, guess what? I suffer. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Because Let's find a solution. That's right. Hallelujah. And see, we have to stop turning our nose up when certain sinners enter uh, the congregation. Because they might look a little funny. They might not act like you. Might smell a little funny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, the church is for sinners too. And it's sad I have to add the two because we got it confused. All right. To teach and to try to convert. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, if we are having church with the exact same people every single Sunday, every single Wednesday, then that means, listen, it's time to go out. Go out. Go out. Uh -huh. Come on. It's time to go out and bring them in. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Salvation. The gift of life. Yeah. It's time to help bring somebody life. It's time to go help bring somebody out of their dark place. It's time to help go bring somebody out of that hard place they in without judgment, without opinion. Can we go out? Can we? Can we? Mm -hmm. Are we comfortable just sitting Will. in our seats mm -hmm. because we are, quote, saved? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And see, listen, I, I may not have $100 to give you. I may not have a car to give you. I may not have a house to give you. But I have the greatest gift uh -huh. you could ever receive. Yes. I have one of the most valuable gifts you could ever receive. You can't take it home and put it under your Christmas tree. All right. You can't touch it physically. Yes. But you can take it and put it in your heart. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Receive him in your life. Mm. Allow him to govern you for once. For once, allow God to tell you what to do. Instead of you coming to God telling him what you want him to do. Oh, Amen. My goodness. God, what do you want for my life? Yes. Yes. Are we always praying, Lord, do this for me yes. in your name? Yes. God, I need yes. you to do this. God, I need you to do but what happened to God? What is your will for my life? What would you have me to do? Thank you, Jesus. Allow him to change you. And I'm not talking about a surface change. I'm not talking about a surface deliverance. You know, grazing, barely grazing. Deliverance. Hallelujah, I'm talking about a deliverance that'll make you die to your flesh. Yes, yes. yes ma'am. A deliverance that will have you doing right when you want to do wrong. Yes. A deliverance yes. that will cause you to take off that old raggedy man and clothe yourself with righteousness. Clothe yourself with Christ. Jesus. Put on love and put on joy. Uh -huh. Put on the fruits of the spirit. Yes. What are you wearing? What are you clothed with today? Yes. Uh, my, my, my. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The too many depressed saints in the church today. I'm going to address it. Too many depressed saints in the church today. And we're acting, hallelujah, today. And we're acting like, and we're owning it like it's God. I'm sorry. We're owning our depression like it's God, like it's of God. My depression, my ailment, my sickness. But I'm here to say today that some of you are misdiagnosed. I didn't say it. Holy Spirit said it. Hallelujah. You aren't depressed. You just lack joy in the Lord. You aren't depressed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just don't have any zeal for God. So religious that you have become boring. Not 